students as we already discussed about outdoor game and indoor game so today we are going to discuss yesterday and today so <clears throat> have you noticed that different people in our family like uh, doing different things you know for instance like um, in your book it is given that Sunil's parents like watching movies while his grandparents enjoy reading books and listening to music so that means here what is uh, the point actually <clears throat> we have different generations suppose our grandparents so they are one generation your father mother is another and you so this uh, there, there there is a three generation right so you can see there is a difference you know suppose you like to play outdoor games with your friends suppose um, but your mother or father or your means uh, uncle or aunt whoever they are uh, like to watch tv or you know movies and all while your grandparents likes to listen music then reading books okay so that means their interest of doing some other activity is also different so sometimes people from different generation enjoy different activities okay so earlier people did not have tvs okay and neither they was having video games so they prefer to read books play sport out, means outside hmm. Also, earlier girls were not encouraged to play sports as much as boys. Okay, so earlier uh, means people, their thinking was girls should remain at home. Okay, so they are not giving more opportunity to play outdoor, you know, to go outside like that. So therefore, women of our grandparents' generation would often spend their leisure time by uh, sewing, then painting or singing or playing musical instrument like this means whatever the activity in home they can do so that is uh, means uh, by that way they used to spend their leisure time okay so here yesterday and today this means yesterday means your past okay and today means now present so yesterday belongs to our what our past generations okay our father mother our grandparents and today is right now our generation like your generation okay so that means whatever you are doing present day so that is different from your past earlier there was no video game no tv so that is why they were having some other laser activity or you know recreational activity then uh, now so that is here it is uh, written generation so all the people born and living at about same time so your, your grandparents your father mother you all are living uh, at the same time but they are from different generation okay so whatever your grandparents have seen you have you don't know about that thing right so that is your generation and but still you are living together so that means what there there are different labels of generation and they are having some different uh, interests okay so now most of you uh, like to uh, spend your time by playing uh, uh, video games okay mm, by doing some you know activities um in uh, means with your mobile phone with the laptop also sometime you used to do so then so many things are there you know, nowadays so that means uh, there is a difference between yesterday and today okay yesterday and today so yesterday and today means don't think that uh, you know it is yesterday and today we are reading like that no it is actually written to compare our past and present and the generation okay so um, here i am going to tell you about play or work okay sometimes uh, you may see uh, you may have seen that uh, in tv also na, there are so many matches of ba badminton table tennis then uh, lawn tennis then football cricket you know world cup you have seen i think so that means uh, for that we are crazy you know some people like so much means uh, some people like a sport uh, like cricket or football or hockey so some pupils uh, take the game very seriously okay and that is why they become what sports person because they like to play 
so who take a game very seriously they are called sports person so uh, <clears throat> and it is not about only playing but some other recreational activity also suppose you like to paint okay so you can take this painting seriously and you can become a painter or artist okay someone like to sing okay so they can become a singer someone like to dance so they can become what dancer okay so that means there are different activities but if you do uh, any uh, recreational activity or recreations seriously then you can if you have more interest in that so that means you can uh, do that as your professions now what is profession profession means what whatever you do for earning and for your living so that is your profession okay so everyone suppose you're uh, in your home also some of you, you your mother and father are you know doing some job in offices some are doctor some are police officer so so many uh, professions are there okay some of you means uh, and uh, you may also have dream or aim in life that I will become a doctor, I will become an engineer, I will become a painter, I will become a um, sports person. So all these things are related. That means if you are uh, interested in something, so from now only if you take that seriously and you work hard for that, so you can achieve that. Okay. But here one thing I, I want to say you that it is it doesn't mean that you like to paint so every time you will paint only you like to sing you will sing only you will you will you like to dance then you will dance only or you like to play some game so every time you will play it is not like that playing seriously or doing the recreations uh, recreation activities seriously that doesn't mean that you should avoid your study because in every cases regarding this thing regarding play everywhere study Okay, study, that means education is very much important. Okay, that means uh, with the, along with your recreations or, you know, the activities you like to do, along with that, you have to study also because without studying or without taking proper education, you cannot achieve anything okay so that is why you should give importance to both education and also whatever the thing you want you want to do or you are interested so in this way your recreation activities or play can convert it into your work because when you achieve uh, achieved your goal so that means you are working what you are working professionally you are working professionally so when you are working professionally that means you are earning money for that and you, you are using that for your living so that is why you become a professional professional so uh, whoever like to play and they choose that for their career so they become professional sports person okay so what is professional sports person a sports person maybe it may be cricketer or boxer or footballer or sprinter anything okay so those who play sports for living they are called professional sports person playing that sport become their work so in this way we can convert our play into work and that is also can become our profession okay but we have to focus on our study as well okay because without study we cannot what achieve our goal this way play and work are related to each other so if you have something in your mind that what you want to be so you have to focus on that and you have to balance it with your education that means with your study and your recreations okay so i hope uh, you understood this was a very interesting chapter so i will uh, give you the question answer and always you make it make reading habit